Hello, this is the uh, Medical Teaching, Learning and Innovation program. My name is Felipe Freni and I wanted to discuss today a bit more about <clears throat> how we learn and how to think in terms of educational programs and how we learn, how to connect these two things. So uh, again, just writing here, how we learn and our educational programs. So I wanted to discuss a little bit about these two concepts and to, to try to understand concepts in terms of neuroscience of learning and how we use that in our educational programs and vice versa. Okay, so let's start with a, a short um, introduction on how we learn. There are a lot of uh, uh, texts and articles and books on how we learn neuroscience of learning uh, from very basic to more complex such as uh, books on, on neuroscience. So again, for those interested to learn more, you can look at, at uh, basics of neuroscience, <coughs> books discussing learning, and, and book discussing more sort of a scientific uh, topics regarding learning and neuroscience. Okay, so let's start again with a <coughs> brief introduction on the neuroscience of learning. So first, again, thinking very, very, um, in a very, very simplistic way, learning is about connection. So we do have our neurons. <coughs> Okay. So we do have our neurons and they are connected. So in our neurons, they work with what? With electrical current. When you learn something, you are connecting two neurons. So that's the basic principle of neuroplasticity. So, and we say that um, neurons who fire together, again, think, think the word firing as electrical signal. Neurons who fire together, okay, and again, together here is what? Connection. They, what? Wire together. Here, meaning fun, uh, structural changes. So basically, when you have two neurons firing together, you then have it then you start having changes because remember learning what's learning learning is about change change how your brain is connected okay so let's go with this principle of the basic uh, law of neuroscience neurons will fire together wire together again and this is donald Hebb that was one of the first who made it explicit this knowledge even though very other sort of uh, neuroscientists discuss that since Cajal and even others uh, discuss the same concepts, but he made it explicit and make it very in a very simple way with a very simple sentence that means a lot. And this very simple sentence means a lot. So then, again, thinking on education, and I want it to be, again, very, this is a very basic uh, podcast. <clears throat> thinking, thinking of education, again, Neurons who fire together, let's put here neurons, fire together, they wire together. So what is the role of education? How is this connected to education? So what is the relationship, how to use that one to connect it with the education here? So how to connect these two concepts? And I think here you need to be thinking <clears throat> on sort of a, 
how our educational programs they are um, they are designed okay so thinking on on our educational programs so what is the basic so uh, principle of an educational educational program oops so you have a content and you have some learning goals and you want this content to be passed to a student so he can he or she can learn however it's it's not about the content because remember what I, what I just said when you read something when you hear something this content may fire a a specific uh, neuron okay it may fire a specific neuron but what is important is not only firing a specific neuron but connecting this firing to another area so it's all about connection that's what you, be, you need to be thinking in terms of learning in terms of using these principles of neuroscience developing your course so your goal is what is that students they make this connection so we have a connection here you are just a facilitator for someone to make a connection of course you can and that's the tricky part so the only person who can make this connection is the student student uh, is the student you cannot make for them that's the tricky part you can say for instance uh, let's let's discuss a clinical example you can discuss that if someone comes with shortness of breath okay so if someone has again shortness of breath this may may be related to asthma attack okay you can tell you 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 can make you can make this association for the student you understand but if this association for him he's just uh, listening to the, this or reading this without thinking without trying to again understand why and that's why understand is so important because when you understand then it it becomes meaningful you start connecting these circuits and you start firing and connecting these circuits as that's that's an important thing it's it's all about making this student to connect and we will discuss more in this chapter and other chapters of how to make this connection stronger okay so i hope i hope you enjoy and then uh, make sure you think about these concepts and how they can be ap ap applicable to the courses you wanted to develop how you want the students to create new connections what are the characteristics of your program that you wanted to have it that will lead to make new connections that's what you need to be to be thinking when when trying to understand uh, the basics of learning and how to use that to design educational programs that's the most important things so the important is not the content you give it you can you can have massive hours of lectures you can bring uh, the speakers in a fancy studio have them lecturing over and over and over and over this could be online this could be live as well lecture you can, you can bring it but if it is not designed the student is not thinking is not is not making the connections by themselves that will just be passive listening of something that's interesting 
Okay. And, and learning to be effective, to, to impact as well. I think that's an important thing. Learning, learning that has an impact should be what? It should be long lasting. Long lasting is not just understanding now, it is having changes that will, will be long lasting and also help to foster new connections. Okay, so I think that's uh, what I wanted to discuss today. Uh, thank you so much for listening that.